Hello, it's William again about the bit707.com project and uh, I'm going to talk about the bit707 again because some people are asking me more information about it uh, for those that didn't see the video of the bit707 in action this is the old card it had 16 buttons and 16 LEDs plus the navigation buttons on LCD and you can do some MIDI sequencing on it just like the the old 808 and 909 and even the 77 Holland drum sequencer and uh, with this board this is the first board I created uh, everything was fixed on the board and we will just attach a Arduino on the bottom uh, Arduino Uno the Mini Novi or the Mega, but I wanted to create a new board, so I created the Bit77 large version. It was a very large board. Uh, here you can see just a part of the board, and you have videos on the on our uh, site about the other large board. Let me see here. Here's an, one video about it. The board was very very large. I created 50 of those boards. But it was not a very easy design to use. It was not very easy to to create a case for it. So and a lot of people complained about the size of the board. So what I'm doing now is create a smaller board without the LEDs and the buttons and the interface and the LCD, but with the headers for those instead. So you can create any kind of custom case and custom design with the board. So the board is going to have just like the large board has more than one 80 mega 328 that's the Arduino chip controlling the buttons, the LEDs, the interface and the other Arduino is going to be connected to the SD card like this one was here so it's pretty much this area of the large board but to reduce it with headers to connect the buttons, the LEDs and the interface so on this board I just use I2C for for the LCD and I use uh, regular LED drivers for the LEDs and I use touch sensors for the buttons but on the new board I'm going to use normal buttons and uh, the, the same driver for the LEDs but instead I'm going to use uh, button matrix and LED matrix so you can um, use less wires from the board coming going to the LEDs and buttons and the LCD is going to be serial like the big board was and it's going to be much easier to set up use less wires from the board and the board is going to be very very small the original board I uh, used just one Arduino but on any board it's going to have two Arduinos on the board but you don't have to plug an Arduino you just have to use the board and uh, connect um, FTDI programmer to it it's just a very cheap regular programmer I don't have one to show here but I have one stored on storage and uh, it's very easy to program each of the chips one is going to take control of the buttons and the LEDs and the SD card and the other is going to take care of sequencing so this gives us more memory for the sequencing uh, so you don't have to use EEPROMs and flash RAM uh, just have to use the SD card and stream from the SD card from the other ship so it's going to be a much better design already doing the, the PCB version so it's going to be similar to this one with two uh, ships, two Arduino compatible ships one for the interface and the other for the sequencing and the media output and uh, the SD card for storage and also to stream information to have more uh, tracks and synth uh, tracks too. So now the phase we are now is we are doing a fund uh, raising at the site, the bit707.com site. We're already over 50% of the fund raising levels and we're just waiting for more people to join so we can finish it up. Thanks for watching.